And your brother wanted to tell you that he was gay, didn't he? Um, he was uh, expressing that to the family, and he thought that, uh, that we would hold that against him and not let my children be around him. Why do you think he thought that? I, I don't know. I, it, uh, it never would have happened, I'll tell you that. My, right. uh, my, my kids at that, that point in their life adored my, uh, my brother. Can I tell you, if I were your brother, I would have been afraid to tell you too. There was a tense exchange in the Missouri uh, House there between State Rep Mackey there, who was talking about what he would do if he was this particular man's brother, Representative Chuck Basie. And Basie was uh, uh, initiating this bill that would, of course, limit athletes, trans athletes from participating in their high school sports. So things also went deeper there as uh, Mackey got more personal and talked about his upbringing and how he got out of a situation that could have ended badly. Watch more. Well, I'm sorry. I would have been afraid to tell you too because of stuff like this. Because this is what you're focused on. This is the legislation you want to put forward. This is what consumes your time. I would have been afraid to tell you too. I was afraid of people like you growing up, and I grew up in Hickory County, Missouri. I grew up in a school district that would vote tomorrow to put this in place. And for 18 years, I walked around with nice people like you who took me to ball games, who told me how smart I was, and who went to the ballot and voted for crap like this. And I couldn't wait to get out. I couldn't wait to move to a part of our state that would reject this stuff in a minute. I couldn't wait, and thank God I made it. Thank God I made it out, and I think every day of the kids who are still there, who haven't made it out, who haven't escaped, from this kind of bigotry. Gentlemen, I'm not afraid of you anymore because you're gonna lose. You may win this today, but you're going to lose. Ian Mackey speaking his mind, talking about his background, and that's part of the diversity when it comes to things like this. This is what I've always said when it comes to diversity. Someone who actually speaks about their background, and maybe others who didn't live it, can understand, Oh, this happens to people. If you listen and put yourself in his position. So really fast, a few background details of this bill before I let you jump in there, Ray. Um, so lawmakers, they uh, passionately argued about this. And they ultimately did approve this amendment on the House floor Wednesday that would allow school districts to bar transgender girls from participating in girls uh, school sports. Representative Chuck Basie, who we mentioned there, uh, he offered this proposal as an amendment to an unrelated elections bill. And if it was approved, if approved by the House and the Senate, it would allow school districts to vote to prohibit transgender girls attending K through 12 public schools from being members of girls sports teams. And lastly, after uh, Bayes introduced that amendment, Ian Mackey, who you saw there uh, arguing passionately, took to the microphone and addressed him. And uh, as he pointed out, he's also a member of the LGBTQ community. So uh, this kind of fight is, is um, is what I would hope we'd see more. But again, we see how general pushback and general hatred, it can still silence, it can still quiet people like that. So Mackie talked about when he was growing up and he felt like he couldn't say much or he felt trapped and didn't really know which way to go. It's his only world. Even as adults, it's still hard, Ravana. Yeah, and I think that he really talks about an important part of homophobia that sort of is gives gets less attention, right? Because we'd like to focus on the people who are, you know, bigoted on their face to gay people uh, and to trans people. Uh, but he's sort of hinting at the people who pretend to be nice, you know, oh, I, I'm fine with gay people in my personal life, but I'll vote to eradicate them from existence. I'll vote to yeah. have their civil rights taken away. And that is just as homophobic as the person who will call you a homophobic slur, in my opinion, you know, as a member of the LGBTQ community. Um, uh, but also, so this bill, right, allows school districts to vote uh, whether or not trans women should be able to participate in women's sports. None of these people care about women's sports, not one of them. How many, how many of these uh, state representatives, state senators, politicians, were celebrating the United States women, uh, US women's national team winning their settlement uh, because <laughs> they had been discriminated against. None <laughs> of them. How many of them want to talk about the massive pay uh, disparity between men and uh, women athletes? None of them. <laughs> you know, how many of them care about? I mean, I know two professional softball players who make twelve thousand dollars a year. That's not a job. That's not a career. That's a side hustle. 
That's <laughs> they don't have the same amount of you know equipment, the same time to dedicate to their sport. Uh, but these people don't actually care about the actual problems with women's sports. They just want to be bigoted against trans women. And it's just disgusting, it's disgusting. It's almost like they don't have much much as far as principles or agenda, anything to get them in office or get reelected. Uh, what they're dealing with is exploiting this opportunity for enough bigots to pop their head up and said, I'll vote for you as long as you preach hate. And they're like, okay, that's easy. Hate is really easy. And that's what we've been overrun with here in this country. Now, if you guys are sick of hearing about trans issues and the LGBTQ communities and all that, JR, you keep talking about these issues because these type of guys keep talking about these issues. And in fact, as you point out, which I think is very poignant, Ivana, implementing policies that limit people's civil rights is definitely something that's bigger than just calling a name. A name is hard enough, but that's what gets society to accept moves like this. So it's all, it works hand in hand.